It's been a little over two weeks since Highwood Creek Outfitters in Great Falls was shut down for a day while armed federal agents searched the premises. The gun shop owner and members of Montana's congressional delegation are still waiting for answers while support for the business continues to grow. Okay, we got a $22 bill. Thank you so much. We're getting calls even from Ecuador and, and Lithuania. They're like, what's going on in America? So. Very interesting is how Highwood Creek Outfitters owner Tom Van Hoos explains how life has been since the IRS came to his gun shop on June 14th. Trying to put records together, trying to get support from an attorney that would represent us with the IRS and being a gun shop, most attorneys don't like gun shops. We had to go all the way to Denver to get an attorney. Van Hoos says he's surprised by the support he's received. A conservative Christian virtual fundraising website called Give, Send, Go had raised almost $24,000 as of Friday afternoon to help with possible legal fees. Probably it's going to cost us half a million dollars to defend ourselves before the IRS. Van Hoos says IRS agents took the business's 4473 forms, paperwork filled out by customers when buying firearms and containing private information which drew attention from members of Montana's congressional delegation. Republican Senator Steve Daines wrote a letter to the IRS saying, with the personally identifiable information or PII of an unknown number of Montanans potentially collected by your agents, the store's customers and the community are rightfully concerned. Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester sent a letter to both the IRS and ATF demanding answers, saying federal law enforcement agencies should aim to be as transparent as possible while respecting the rights of those under investigation. Van Hoos says he still doesn't understand why the investigation warranted such a heavily armed presence. I've been reached out to by four other gun shops, and when their IRS raid happened, it was a couple of guys with a calculator and a briefcase and a couple of people with guns. We checked with the IRS the day after the incident, and all they could tell us was that they were at the facility on June 14th on official business. We reached out Friday and left a message, but the call has not been returned. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.